Hello there, my name's Bertie. I'm responsible for crank drive construction and development here at MGMBH. Here we can see our S58 engine in our prototype workshop. The engine here is not in the position it would be in the car, but tilted to one side to facilitate access to the individual components. Today I'd like to tell you something about the parts hidden in the engine, the ones you don't see at first glance. Here we have the crankshaft of the S58 engine. I've brought along a piston, and these are our high-rev conrods. Here we have the centerpiece of the S58 crank drive, the crankshaft. We are looking at an inline six-cylinder crankshaft with the classical 120-degree offset. The crankshaft is our lightweight crankshaft, at 19.4 kilos, very, very light for an inline six-cylinder shaft. Here we use chrome molybdenum heat-treatable steel, which is further hardened during the later stages of production. This shaft has a very high torsion strength and a very high resistance to wear. What's especially interesting for motorsports use is, of course, the low moment of inertia. That's beneficial for the engine's high rev nature. Here you can see the crank pins of the crankshaft, on which the big end bearings and conrods are mounted. These are the main bearings, the main bearing crank pin of the crankshaft, this is where the main bearings are mounted. Pins are ground spherically, in other words they have a slightly rounded form. This allows the bearings to run more smoothly and is an important feature for high revving engines. Here you can see the oil supply holes in the crankshaft. The oil comes from the crankcase via the main bearings, via these tap holes, up to the crank pins and then lubricates the big end bearing. Here you can see the balancing drill holes in the counterbalances of the crankshaft. The counterbalances are completely machined, which means that we need relatively few balancing holes on the shaft. Here we see the forged piston of the S58. This piston is especially light and robust and suitable for our high revs and gas pressure demands. The piston has a graphile coating on the piston skirt. This is necessary because our crankcase has an LDS coating on the cylinder bore and that is the ideal friction partner. Here are the four valve seat pockets for the inlet and outlet valves. The piston rings, top ring, napier ring and oil scraper ring. This is where the piston pin is hidden. It's a DLC coated piston pin. This pin, or rather the DLC coating, is necessary because we have a sleeveless conrod small end and that means steel and steel don't work as friction partners. That's why we have a diamond-like layer of carbon on it. Here we see our high-rev conrod for the S58. This conrod is made from special crack steel, and here we see the sleeveless conrod small end. This is manufactured using a special form drilling technique in order to transfer the high gas and inertia forces to the piston ring. Here you can see the conrod big end. The conrod is cracked here, it's broken, and then it could be mounted in a bearing here, with the upper and lower big end bearing shell, and bolted together again on the crank pins. Here you can see a path that's been tested. It's gone through our highly dynamic endurance test and you can see that the crack surface isn't visible. If we pull on it, then it separates. 
and here we're looking at the two halves, the cracked surfaces. It's a very rough, bumpy surface. That's the way we want it, because when we put the conrod together again, it's a bit difficult, that's it, you can see that the crack disappears again. When it's mounted, you don't see anything anymore. As you know, we also develop our components for racetrack suitability. They are tested in our normal M vehicles in Miramas and on the Nürburgring. And now the components are being used in a real race. In the M4 GT3, the crank drive you see here will be used in the 24 hours of Le Mans.